What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. So, Dream, huh? That's a name I haven't heard much in the commentary community. I'm sure he gets passed around in the less reputable spaces of commentary. You know, far be it from me to complain about integrity on YouTube, especially in the commentary space, but I think it's pretty sad how people brute force their way into the algorithm by clickbaiting popular figures like Mr. Beast or Dream, right? Oh, Slick, you're just bitter because you're not popular, right? Mm, not really. I mean, feel free to disagree, but I'd rather get big talking about what I want to talk about instead of having to squeeze blood from a turnip day after day, but whatever. In any case, Dream wasn't really on the lips of the broader commentary community for a while, and if I had to guess it's because Jelly Bean was the new punching bag that everyone was leeching content from. I think the last time Dream was really talked about by most of the commentary community was, um, I think when he released that god awful animation. I don't know what he was thinking releasing that, man, like, I know it was, I know it was rushed and all, but if I saw that that was the product, I'd say, you know, I don't know, give it another six weeks or something, you know? So we've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's start at the beginning. So here we have Hassan, one of the dumbest political streamers ever, unfortunately he's the most popular one as well, so we all have to listen to what he has to say. He made this tweet. Come on, hat YouTube, this is a wild one to demonetize. And here we have a demonetization notice. Hi, Hassan Abi. After manually reviewing your video, we've confirmed that it isn't suitable for all advertisers. As a result, it will continue to run limited or no ads. Dear conservatives, gay people exist. So, pretty self-explanatory. Just tweeting about how YouTube unfairly demonetized the video. Dream comes in, says, I mean, it is controversial. Do they really exist? I heard gay people was a myth, but made up by the gay frogs in my water. Solid move by YouTube, hi am -o. Nah, on the surface, to both you and I, this seems like a normal, non-offensive tweet. It's also incredibly unfunny, but that's besides the point. People got pretty upset at the tweet. You know, I'll read you some quote tweets. Making gay jokes as a straight man. What's up with people and feeling the need to make jokes at the expense of communities they're not a part of? Do not joke about this if you are not gay, freak. To be honest, it's expected from him, since he's done worse stuff in the past, but I just did not expect him to be so openly, visibly homophobic on Twitter.com, oh my god. Really don't think this is your joke to make, homie. So again, those were just some random tweets I found. There was a lot more, obviously, but you kinda get the general sentiment. People were upset at Dream because he made a joke. I think it goes without saying, but obviously the joke in question wasn't that bad, or bad at all. Unfunny? Yes, obviously. But in no way is this joke harmful to homosexuals. I suppose people might say, well sure slick, but it's not okay for a person of privilege to make jokes about a marginalized group. To that I say, grow some thicker skin, you nonce. And this really started to spiral out of control. A lot of people came up with stuff that Dream did a year or two back that I guess can be interpreted as bad. Ableism. Since we're talking about Dream doing offensive stuff today, Dash is a Twitter thread where Dream's giving his thoughts on the word retard. When was the last Last time you saw someone with an actual mental problem offended by the word retard more than any other insult. What about dumb, idiot, both of which used to be medical terms. You guys don't care about the actual difficulties people with disabilities face. All people do is make a fuss to make themselves look like the better person. They use the struggle of people that actually have disabilities for their own reputation. It's a slur. Don't say it. End of story. Says who? The language police? You don't get to go around enforcing your own language rules on behalf of other people. It's a descriptive word and has been used to describe slow development for a long time. Just as offensive as dumb and idiot. Do you ever use those words? And to be honest, like, I guess I'm supposed to be upset at this, but it's like, I don't know, this seems like a pretty valid take. I mean, you see it all the time on the internet. People get offended on behalf of other people. In this case, those with special needs, I suppose. For Twitter locks and approval. I won't dwell on it too much, but all I'll say is I think the way the word is used matters more than the word itself. Like, if I see someone in a wheelchair and I say, look at this retard, obviously in a mocking way, yeah, I'd say that's pretty bad. But if I saw something that I thought was lame, like a movie trailer, that looks stupid, I'd say, well, that was retarded. I know, I think you have to be a fink to get mad at that. They follow up with a post of Dream defending himself again. This time, I, I guess people were mad at him because he made, like, Native American war chants. Native Americans don't own screaming while flicking your tongue around. Of course, war is offensive. People die. Saying viva la resistance is, I'm sure, offensive to French people. Plus, I literally have Native American in my blood. Okay, I don't know why he mentioned he has Native ancestry. Like, I feel like that just kind of gives people ammunition to use against you, right? I feel like people would see this and say, wow, he thinks it's okay to mock Indians because he's 5% Cherokee. Something like that, right? If you're offended, F off. Literally could care 
less. It's not offensive and don't be a baby. Get off my account if you want to critique people having fun in a block game. Alright, I'm not native, so I don't know if I'm out of line here, but again, I find myself in the position of, it's really not that bad. Like, from my point of view, it's slightly offensive at worst. Like, if I had a ruler to measure out how offensive this is, it would be like millimeters long. It's as he said, war cries are just kind of a thing humans have always done. I'm just confused at the notion of not being able to make a specific war cry because it belongs, quote unquote, to a different race. And then someone else presents a video from Dream's channel that was either privated or deleted, but has since been archived. It appears to be an edit of someone else's video, but of note is the 2.19 mark, where, well, see for yourself. It is So it's dumb, edgy humor. Look, it's insensitive now, but that was just the humor of the time, right? I find it weird, man. People will indulge in edgy and dark humor, but then get angry once the pendulum swings the other way and it's suddenly not okay anymore. So Dream ended up addressing this as well. Just to clarify, because people are trying to say I made a KKK edit in 2020, I made an MLG weed edit of a bad boy Halo video in 2014, like 8 years ago when I was 14, and I'm 99% sure people are just overlaying whatever they want on the edit to make me out to be a racist. Either way, I was a dumb 14 year old kid and don't remember half the stuff I did. Even though people are faking stuff, there are plenty of things I did as a depressed, edgy teenager that I'm not proud of. I've never shied away from admitting that or being upfront about it. I'm not racist, and if you have reasons based on my actions to believe I am, then I don't deserve your support, simple as that. I'll always do my best to breed as inclusive of a community I can, even if that doesn't end up always being the case. Now, I don't know much about this kind of stuff, but I don't think you can manipulate an archive. I don't think that's how internet archive works. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know, this looks as real as real can get, so I think Dream's kind of going for the old CIA defense. I can neither confirm nor deny that that video exists. I don't know, I, just, I don't think it works. Like, the evidence is there. This is clearly your channel, clearly a video that you've uploaded. I'm not sure if the old reg encounter the old i don't recall uh seeing this is gonna save you man in a case like this it's not that he did the action in question but that he's seemingly lying about it lying by omission in my opinion it's a sketchy response like dude just own up to it so everyone's pretty mad i suppose and so dream made the great mistake of trying to placate the masses with this light-hearted tweet i'm not gay i think women are very attractive some men are okay too i guess someone quote retweets this but if i say he's only saying this because he's under fire for making homophobic jokes not gonna lie dumb tweet but this this is where things get out of hand. Dream responds to the post. Only Twitter can confuse mocking homophobia in clear support of gay people in the replies of one of the person's best friends who is gay is homophobia. Only Twitter. Which, you know, fair point and all I suppose. Now, I think it goes without saying, but when a large YouTuber such as Dream responds to someone, that response tends to get seen by a lot of people. Of course, it also goes without saying that Dream's fan base is pretty dedicated. It's pretty common for like whenever Dream responds to someone for his fans to then relentlessly harass that person. The account then privated and made this tweet. Someone screenshot this and quote retweet with this. I am afraid of getting doxxed because I live with my boyfriend's parents. We live in an unsafe neighborhood and I don't want anyone to be hurt and I don't want to be put back into my abusive family's care because of this situation. Nothing about this is funny. And obviously this tweet tugs at the heartstrings, right? I mean, with how crazy some of Dream's fans are, it stands to reason that doxing is a distinct possibility. They bring up how they live with some other folks, don't want to put them at risk, they don't want to move back into an abusive household. It really does score some sympathy points here. So, Dream makes some posts on a private account. This is presumably a subtweet to the other person. Seeing people private their Twitter and delete their tweet after a reply to them calling them out on BS is so satisfying. You're sending your community to harass random innocent people. I'm calling out their BS. They can turn off their phone and reflect on their dumbassery. So right off the bat, this tweet can easily be interpreted as incredibly insensitive. Dream responds to someone and indirectly, unintentionally gets his fans in the crossfire. And so to prevent getting harassed and possibly doxxed, they private their Twitter account. And Dream's response to them, privating their account in fear of harassment and getting their life ruined, 
is to brag about it on Twitter. It's really weird, Locke. He seems to operate under the assumption that these people are profiting because they got owned by Dream, when that's not really the case. They're doing it to protect themselves. They can't respond to this, at least not publicly, right? They've essentially been silenced. I will say this, I don't think Dream's intention is to deliberately get his fans to attack people that don't like him, but I think this tweet demonstrates a lack of understanding of the true situation. And let's just acknowledge the irony of him saying this, right? This guy has bowed down so so many times for so many insignificant dramas and now he's saying stuff like it's so satisfying to call people out like okay buddy sure where was this mindset like i don't know one or two years ago right when you were getting cancelled for using royalty free native indian music also i'm not sending anyone i recognize people will attack anyone i reply to positively or negatively but that doesn't mean i can't still reply and speak my mind they're the ones replying to my tweet in the first place Want me to leave you alone? Then leave me alone too. And I will say I do agree with this tweet. If you talk smack about someone, well, prepare to get talked smack back. That being said, it's really not a good look. Not for Dream, not really for any, like, big YouTuber to be talking to people like this. Um, I feel like there's a point on YouTube where this kind of stuff just doesn't really fly. People with, like, 1 million subs, I feel like they can do it, but 20 million, man? At that point, you're a celebrity. It's the kind of thing where, yes, you can do it, and you shouldn't not be allowed to do it, but it just doesn't really look good, you know what I'm saying? Criticism comes with hate no matter who you are and what you're getting criticized for. Same thing applies to me. The potential for hate doesn't make you immune from criticism. Either way, satisfying as hell, bye bye. So these tweets got people mad. It just seemed like he lacked some serious situational awareness. Like you have someone who privates their account in fear of getting docked, then you have this guy saying stuff like, seeing people private their Twitter and delete their tweet after I, I reply to them, calling them out on BS is so satisfying, in or out of context, it just doesn't look good, man. So Dream once again tries to placate the masses and makes this poll. Genuine thought exercise. You are ordering a coffee. The cashier spits in your coffee. You throw a fit. They get fired by their boss, who then makes it their goal to prevent that person from getting a job. You feel bad because it shouldn't have been that negative. Should you never complain again? Sucks, but not your fault. Give them a job and apologize. I'm too lazy to think. This poll is flat out dumb, like wow man, you made a hyper specific scenario with shoehorned options, really getting your point across there. I don't know, am I wrong in saying that I feel like this is more of a false equivalence than anything else? I feel like there's a difference between someone for no reason at all spitting in your coffee and responding to someone knowing full well that your fans will attack them. Like I, I don't know, I, 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 I don't know what he's getting at. And let's be honest, even if the poll did make sense, it wouldn't matter. Once the ball gets rolling and the mob gets their pitchforks, you can't really Really convinced them to change course could come up with a rock solid argument but it really wouldn't matter at all then dream changed his profile picture to i don't know i'm not sure if this is ironic or what it's cringe what else can i really say he apparently discusses this in a stream as well we have two clips one from dream one from another person we'll take a look at the latter first for their life and all that stuff um i'm just gonna express that if you are a person on twitter and you have seven followers and you get doxxed on twitter um, the odds of you having something happen to you in your life are so astronomically small that it's not even worth worrying about. It's, it's, not, even, it's not even worth it remotely. I mean, everybody that I know that is a creator um, has, been, has had their address leaked, has had their name leaked, has had everything leaked about them. Um, and it, it's very rare to have things actually happen even people with millions and millions of haters and millions and millions of fans and millions and millions of things so i guess this is more of a hey you know don't don't worry too much don't stress um but you know just if if you're at the end of the day if you're on the internet and you and you have something like that happen to you try and ignore it the best you can try and try and uh you know avoid it and you, you'll be fine at the end of the day you'll be okay um again that doesn't mean doxing okay doxing is horrible and wow man, this looks absolutely horrible. Like again, I could give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think he meant for it to come off as if he's downplaying the effects that doxing can have on someone, but I'll be damned if it doesn't come off that way. Like, way to underhand it, boss. The truth is, whether he's downplaying it or not, he's wrong, right? Doxing poses a great risk to someone. If I have your address, well, I can go and call a few pizzas to your house. Maybe send a SWAT team. Hell, I might just go over there myself if I live close enough. Are the chances of such a thing happening low? Who cares? It doesn't matter. What does matter is that they are now put in a position where it is feasible. In response to that tweet getting traction, Dream counteracts. 
just because people clipped a one ten second poorly worded clip of reassurance out of context. Okay, well, either it's poorly worded or out of context. It can't be both, right? How can something that's poorly worded be in context? I don't know. For my stream last night, here's my repeated stance on doxing for my entire career and what was actually said yesterday. I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you participate in doxing of people, if you participate in harassing and threatening people, you are not welcome in my community. You are not a part of my community, and I do not like you. There, I've said it. I've said it before. There's a clip on my Twitter, my mo one of my mo my most recent re retweet, um, of a clip of me saying this exact same thing like a year ago. Um, but I'll I, I'll say it again because I feel like I can't say it. I can't say it too many times, so I'll just. Say it again. And there you have it, he condemned doxing. Although I don't really think it makes what he said before any less stupid, right? The video doesn't seem to like add any context. It doesn't really do anything, in my opinion. The other video just made it sound like he was downplaying the idea of doxing, right? Which, whether that was his intention or not, that's really what it seems. And that's where everything mostly seems to stop as far as my final opinions go. And this is what happens when you bow down to the cancel culture mob for so long. If you've been in commentary for a while, you know that Dream never really stood up for himself often. Whenever he got called out, he'd usually take the blow. Well, since he's been doing that for the past couple of years, his fan base not only expects, but demands he bows down to every little thing he does. In effect, he can't really defend himself in a situation where he wants to. As far as everything goes, I don't think Dream has malicious intent. I think he said the right things, just in the wrong way. He never really was good at like explaining his points. I remember the John Swan situation all too well. In any case, I'm looking forward to closing this off. I thought this would be a simple video, right? A few people getting angry, but no, here I am. Up to the neck in tabs, archives, and tweets. At least it's over. That's all I've got for this shtick. You guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.